Hello, my YouTube fam, and welcome back to another episode of What is in the Box? Just kidding. Um, seriously, this is just an unboxing video of uh, some Sephora stuff that I got during the sale they're doing right now. Um, I believe it lasts until the first for Rouge members, which I am a Rouge, and I'm unsure about the rest. So sorry about that, I don't have uh, all the details. Okay, no, but seriously, I did make an order uh, during the Rouge sale that they're having right now. Um, it'll be VIB um, in a few days and then it'll be Beauty Insider. Um, so I did make a purchase, bought a few things here. So I just wanna go through this box with you guys and show you guys everything that I bought, all right? So if you're interested in that, let's just jump into the video. Okay, so the first thing I have in the box is the Sephora Favorite Sun Safety Kit, which this retails for $39. It is a $178 value, if you can believe that. It is online only, so you won't find it in stores. Um, but it does come with a full size of the Dr. Dennis Gross sunscreen, which is right here. So this is a Dr. Dennis Gross sunscreen, which it's pretty expensive on its own, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, just because I've never purchased it, but I just know the Dr. Dennis Gross things are on the pricey side. So I'm really excited to have this in my collection and try it out and see if I like it. It is a dark spot sun defense sunscreen, broad spectrum uh, SPF 50. And then it also has some hum uh, vitamins in here. These are just um, D3 vitamins. So I'll try those out. Looks like one dosage, maybe two, maybe two doses in there. Okay, so then we have the Lancome UV Expert Aqua Gel Defense 50 sunscreen. I'm gonna have to hold these way back here because the light just washes them out and you can't see anything about it. It just looks like a white package. And the next one is the Kula Mineral Sun Silk Screen. <laughs> the Kula Mineral Sun Silk Cream Sunscreen. So this one's the Kula one. Then we have the Super Goop Play SPF 50 Everyday Lotion, which I believe I have a full size of this. Oh no, I don't, I don't have the Play one. I just have the Everyday Lotion from Super Goop. And then we have from uh, Drunk Elephant, the Ombre Tint Physical Defense SPF. I believe it's 30, yes, SPF 30. And the next thing I pull out of the bag is the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil-Free UV, UV Protector in SPF 42. And it has this little tag on here with the directions and usage and all that jazz. So then we have the Ren Clean Skin Care Clean Sunscreen Mineral SPF 30. This is a mattifying sunscreen, so I have a feeling I'll probably like this one a lot especially to wear like underneath my makeup and things like that. Oh, and the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. I was I was excited to see that this was in there. I really like the sunscreen a lot. It doesn't leave a white cast because it goes on clear. So it's like the perfect sunscreen. So then we have the Biosant Squalene and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen, SPF 30. And this is also one that I was excited to try. This is brand new from First Aid Beauty. This is the Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide, SPF 30. So that one's got a little bit of a tint to it, I believe. So then we have the Kate Somerville Active Concentrate Ceramides Omega Serum Soothe and Restore. So it's a Ceramide and Omega Serum, probably for like usage for after the sun, I'm assuming. And then we have the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protector Lotion SPF 50. Yes, there's two Shiseidos in here, I love that. I absolutely adore Shiseido. And the last thing in the bag is the Dermalogica Skin Recovery SPF 50. So I only had one sunscreen in my collection, so I'm really glad to have these now. I'm really excited to try these out, see which one I like the best. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna lean towards um, the Ren one, just because it says it's a mattifying one, or even, I know I like the Unseen sunscreen, so maybe even that one, but um, I do have this full size of the Dr. Dennis Gross, so I'm definitely gonna be going through this as well. And it comes in this cute little purple bag, so like, what's not to love? 
Okay, so next, these are just some little hair clippies I got to hold my hair back while I do my makeup and shoot videos and things like that. So these are just four individual hair clippies. They have the little rubber around them so they don't leave dents in your hair. And these were $8 for the pack. Okay, so this is something that I have to admit I'm a little disappointed in. This is the new Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush, and it is this small. If you can see that compared to my hand, it was $20 for this. Had I seen it in stores and saw how small it was, I would not have purchased it. There's no way. And I was wondering why there was such a difference between the cream bronzers and blushes. Like the bronzers are $32, the blushes are 20. Now I understand, it makes sense now. They're so much smaller. I mean, it's a beautiful color, don't get me wrong. This one I have in the shade Strawberry Kiss, I believe. Strawberry Drip, that's what it's called. So it's, it's a beautiful color. It's just so damn small. And I really wasn't expecting that. I was expecting an actual blush, <laughs> like a normal size blush, you know? So I'm a little disappointed in that, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna use it. Stores aren't open, so I'm not gonna be able to return it. I'm not gonna send just this back because I like everything else that I got. So. I'm just gonna keep it and just utilize the crap out of it and just try to do whatever I can with it. Okay, so next in the box, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. This is something that I've wanted for a while now. And I just figured since the sale was going on, I might as well splurge on it. It is $38. So it's a little bit pricey just for this little small tube, but it is such a beautiful product from what I've heard. I've never been able to use it myself but supposedly it just comes out of this little tip right here and you can just contour your face with it. Do you squeeze it? Is that how it works? Or do you twist it? Oh, you twist it. Okay. So it's in the on position now and then you would squeeze some up, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. There we go. There's the product. I'm just going to switch that back off. So I'm really excited to try that one out. I've been needing a new contour product anyways, and I figured since I'm going on the train with the cream blushes, might as well try some cream contour and get a blendiful and just do the whole shebang. The blendifuls are sold out, unfortunately, but I will be getting one eventually. Eventually. Okay, and then last thing I have in the bag, or in the box, I mean, is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist which this is something that I've been wanting for a while. I just couldn't justify spending the $28 on it because it's such a small package. But with the sale going on, I figured it was justifiable just because look at how small it is. Like it's the size of my palm. So there's that. But it is a wonderful mist, like just a refreshing mist. It smells really good. It has watermelon extract in it, so it's super hydrating. I mean. It's, it's a really great product. It's just $28 for how many milliliters is this? It's 2.54 ounces and 75 milliliters. So it's not that big, it's not that big. All right guys, that is it for my little haul that I have today. It's just a little mini haul. I just wanted to get a few things while the sale was going on, just a few things that I had my eye on already and was kind of calling to me. So if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you like my vibe and you wanna see more of me, hit the subscribe button down there. I do new content every week for you guys. So hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of me and I'll be seeing a lot more of you very soon. All right, I love you guys. Peace out.